Section 3. It's all about data. In this section, we will dive deeper in how to get the right data. Bring in data for analysis. In previous video, we have put a text box and a media on the dashboard. However, in order to build a meaningful dashboard or to perform data analysis, our main ingredient is data. In order to bring data in Cognos Analytics, we have two options. First option is we can make Cognos connect to one or more systems in the organization or in the cloud so that it can read the databases and fetch the data. Second option is we can upload data in Cognos using files. In this video, we will look at both the options. In order to connect to the databases already existing in the organization, we need to use data server connections. You need to first click on this manage icon button on the left bottom corner and then open the data server connections panel. Now click on this plus icon to create a new data server connection. We can see that Cognos can connect to a variety of databases, including some big data databases like Cloudera and Hive, and also the relational databases like SQL Server and Oracle. The administrators can add more options here by setting up the JDBC libraries at the backend. We can choose the kind of database that we would like to connect to and then click on it. This opens the connection details page. Here we can put the JDBC connection details for the database that we would like to connect to and then put the username and password for the database. Once done, we can test this connection and then save it. If you are a non-IT user, I would suggest that you speak to the Cognos administrator and they can set up the connections to databases in your organization or in your IBM cloud space. For this video course, we will not be using any live DB connection. Instead, we will use the new powerful feature that did not exist in the older Cognos versions. Yes, this feature is uploading your own data. For that, let's close this data server connections panel and see how to upload files in Cognos Analytics. There are more than one ways to upload the files in Cognos Analytics. The first option is we go to my contents area and then click on this plus icon and then select the upload files option. When you click on it, you will get this pop up where you can choose the file that you want to upload. The second option is we can click on this plus icon on the left bottom corner and then choose the upload files option. I need you to do this with me. Please select the branch hierarchy.csv file that I have provided with this course and upload using this option. We can see that Cognos has analyzed the file and now it is displaying a message that the file has been uploaded successfully. Now click on my contents and notice that this file has been uploaded and saved in my content. So every time we use that option from the bottom, the files are going to be saved in my content area. So what if we wanted to save our files in a specific folder? For that, let's first create a folder in my contents panel and we call it as section three achievements. Once the folder is created, click on the folder name and once you are inside the folder, then click on the plus icon and upload the rest of the files. We can now see that Cognos is reading those four files and all of them are successfully uploaded. We can go back to my contents and confirm that these files are visible in section three achievements folder. This way you can first navigate to a folder and then upload the files so that the files get saved in that specific folder. We will also move the branch hierarchy file, which got saved in my content, into the section three achievements folder by right clicking and choosing the move option. So this way we have now uploaded all the five files in section three achievements folder. In real life, once you upload a file, you can get new versions of the file. And there are two possibilities. You can get a new version which will totally replace the previous file or you can get some new records 
which you would like to append to the previous file. In order to do that, all you have to do is click on this context menu and then choose either the replace file option or append file option as per your requirement. Well done! You have learned how to create connection to organizational databases as well as you have successfully uploaded the five sample data files that I provided with this course.